let's rate the different type of real estate investing like a report card. Let's go. All right, at F, we have Airbnb arbitrage. Technically, it's not really real estate investing. You're kind of just taking someone else's house and you're putting it on Airbnb. So it's not really real estate investing. At D, we have fix and flippers. Fix and flips, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And it also have big rewards. And for that amount of work, I would give it a D. Now at C, we have wholesalers. Now there's still a lot of work when it comes to wholesaling. You're not really investing in the house. You're kind of just selling the contract, but hey, it's much easier than a fix and flip. And I think there's a huge scalable option that you can do to make that into a legit business. Now at B, we have the people that does the Burr method, multifamily, and even the ADU build play. Now, these are the people that, you know, they understand the long-term effect of real estate that it always goes up. The ADU play is super smart, adding those values in the backyards. These are the, the type of investors that I think are doing pretty well, so I'll give you guys a B. And for A, when it comes to real estate investing, I would probably say syndicators. Like, I mean, they acquire and gobble up like 60, 50 units of apartments. They work with a bunch of people's money that just gobbles up these big apartments. So I don't know, I think I think that's a very hard thing to do and I'm pretty sure their reward is actually pretty high too. So I don't know. If you're a real estate investor, comment whether or not you agree with this report card.